Okay guys, so I'm here at my store and I don't know if they're open. I looked it up and they're not supposed to open till nine. But a lady just walked out, so I'm a little mad that I didn't get here at the right time, I guess. Anyways, yeah, there's a lady, there's boxes outside, there's a lady out here looking at stuff. So I'm a little nervous now. It's 845 in the morning. She is loading up her cart. So, yeah, I'm going to go see. She just going ham. They put them in boxes outside. Like, how, how dumb. But I'm going to go inside to see what clearance stickers they have. Because maybe they have some stuff with the clearance stickers. So, let's go see. All these are a penny. What's up, guys? I've been out in the sun for over an hour. And trying to find the clearance items matching them with coupons that I had. And honestly, I found a lot of stuff. Okay, first of all, this is the longest receipt I have ever, ever gotten, okay? So, I would get out and show you, but I'll wait till I get home. Um, because there are a few things that did not ring up what I thought it was. I thought my total was going to be $10, and it was $17. So, um, there's a few things I'm going to see if I can take back to a different Dollar General and just get my money back for it. Um, because my my target was ten dollars at each store so killing my budget like that was really a lot but I'm gonna go to the other store first get what I can get and then go get everything returned so when I get home I'll do it later though um, but you guys I came here looking for for just half off stuff I found I think I had a total of 83 items y'all 83 items i did spend 20 dollars, but some of them were ringing up like different like um i don't even know what okay some of it was ringing up right but something rang up for like two dollars and seventy cents um so i'm gonna figure out what that is because obviously three dollars that that definitely is what shot my budget um, but I did get like the Warhead Freezer Pops for like 15, 30 cents. I'm going to donate them to the church. But um, the bins I look through, just look, scan and look like go crazy, go stupid. I'm thinking if this location was safe, I'm going to try the other location, even though they're so rude to me. Um, still, I'm going to give it a try and see if I can just get penny items. I don't want to get anything um, more than that. I did get like a nightlight that was like for a dollar. Um, there was some stuff I got in mascara. Um, we have the Maybelline coupon for $2 off and the mascara rang up for $167. So, and my coupon scanned just fine. Um, there was a dollar digital though off the Crest. Or was that Colgate? I thought I had a Crest dollar off coupon. Let me not drive on safe. I thought I had a dollar off Crest coupon, um, but apparently not um, attached to my digital, but it didn't come off. So that's okay though. So I'll still keep it. A dollar fifty seven is not bad, or I might just take it back because I already have like a million toothpaste. But it's really hot. I was outside sweating the whole time. The manager was so nice, and the lady didn't give me any lip about penny items. I even felt makeup penny items, y'all. Like, go to your Dollar General. Go. Like, I know I'm probably gonna be posting this. Hopefully by noon. I'm trying to really hurry so you guys get out and realize it's. It's really important that you go, um, but I'm going to go to the other one in my area. It's probably like five, maybe seven minutes out. So I will talk to you guys after I get out of there, and then I'll show you everything that I got and how much I paid. Glory. Yes. Okay, I do that every time in these videos. Look at all this stuff, guys. This is the biggest haul I have ever did. It is literally... It's just, it's so big. So I figured out where I went wrong at the first door. Like I was explaining to you guys, my subtotal or my total was uh, 1760. Um, but this was what rang up incorrectly. Now, like I was trying to explain, I live in Virginia. So most of the Virginia tech stuff, all oh, this rang up a penny. All these keychains, hacky sacks. Don't ask me why I got so many. I have girls at the church, I'm sure. Um, they wouldn't mind a keychain, some men, um, and the kids. So it's kind of a nice gift, honestly. Um, so what happened was I had seen and scanned this one and it had rang up for a penny um, on my DG Go app. So I was like, oh, it must be all of the the tape. So I picked up this one assuming um, and it actually rang up for the dollar eighty. Is that dollar eighty, dollar fifty, whatever? Um, and then this keychain actually rang up for two seventy, and I was like trying to figure out what was two seventy in this pile. It was that. 
So as you can see right here, that is the keychain that bring up for $2.70. And so after all of this, I have to take this back because I had a $2 off uh, CoverGirl face product coupon I was wanting to use. I didn't even realize I picked up two of these, first of all. Wow, Lexi. Um, and then second of all, um, whenever I realized, I I didn't realize, I tried to use the coupons and the lady just handed them back to me. So I was like, whatever, I'll pay it now and just figure it out later. Um, but after all of this, I get back, I believe $9.80. So just on these few products alone, even though they're on clearance and half off, I'll get back almost $10, which is what I needed. So let me show you, after I showed you what I'm not going to keep. Um, so really all in all, I only spent... $17.89 on everything. Um, that is including my bins, stuff like that, that really um, wasn't pennied. So these both ring up a penny. Um, I picked these up because I do a few crafts. So you never know what you're gonna need them for, what you can use them for. Don't get me wrong, I have no idea what I'm gonna use zebra on, but look, it's a penny. And then all of my tissues were a penny, which I don't even know how many I have total, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, so I have 20 tissues, so you weren't going to miss that quarter. It was going to get easily spent. Um, everybody knows the Warheads, I believe, are ringing up $0.15 cents a piece. The Welches are $0.30, cents, and then those are $0.30, cents, and these were $0.15. Cents. So um, I got six of the Warheads, three of the Welches, one of the Hawaiian Punch Slush Bars, which I'm sure this is going to be um, one that I keep. Definitely, I do plan on keeping one of these as well. Warheads, I'm not a fan of these i'm not really a fan of either so i don't i've never really ate these honestly but i got them for the you know the kids at church and stuff like that so the warhead freezer bars like i said those um rang up for 15 cents the welches um which is a little bit larger of a pack and a little bit probably better of a brand ring up for 30 cents um but as you could see i got a whole whole bunch of stuff so I was going through trying to mark what I was taking back. So my CoverGirl lipstick, um, the coupon didn't work on the face products, which is kind of crazy. But I did want to show you guys this. So I did pick up, now this is one of my favorite mascaras. Um, it was the Maybelline Mascara Great Lash. Now this is definitely one of my favorites. I even have one in my purse. Um, so as you can see right here, ignore my ugly fingers. Um, the mascara ring up for $1.67 and it took off my $2 off coupon. So guys, definitely check that out. Um, I picked these up because, as you can see, they were $0.37, cents, and I was like, $0.37 cents ain't too bad. I'll take those. Um, this Milani thing I found, um, it rang up a penny, guys. So there is makeup out there that does ring up a penny. Um, so definitely jump on that opportunity if you do. Um, even though this one didn't, that was one that I found. And I was looking for more of the Milani brand, and I couldn't find it at all. So some women may have already came in and took um, the rest. That's cool to each their own. Um, but I also got this nightlight. Now this I paid $124. I did this on purpose. I needed this anyways. Don't call me a kid, because yes, I don't like the dark. Um, and then of course the country sunrise coffee I found for a penny. The lady was a little mad. She asked me where I found it at, and I was like outside, and she's just like she looked at one of her associates and I was like, oh, okay. So I picked up 13 of these chocolate coffee creamers. Um, am I going to use them? No. Funny thing is I even have one in the cabinet. I found that pennied a while back. I have that video posted. You guys should go check it out. And then I picked up two of these. Like I said, I'm a crafter, so um, you can't never have too much. These rang up obviously 60 cents a piece. So I got two for the price of one that's normally on clearance. These things are like two or three dollars. Um, at Walmart, I know because I, I used to go pick it up from there a lot. So this is going to be a good craft and I have. Um, this I did get from the second store. It was a dollar. So just to show you guys there, see the comment? Um, it was a dollar. That's probably regular price, honestly. Um, but I got it anyways because I needed cleaning products. And as you can see, I didn't get very many. Um, you guys already seen the keychains. Now the air foam insoles, I got this at the first store. These I paid 45 cents for, which isn't bad. Um, it's for women's and I'm always walking in stores and my feet tend to hurt really easy. So definitely I will use these or keep those as backup. These guys, this is my favorite thing to find. So I was looking for leggings to go with this new skirt that I got. These were a penny. Penny make you holla. 
it made me so excited. I was like, oh, I gotta find more. Well, as you can see, I didn't find much more, but that's okay. Like even just finding something that you genuinely needed um, for a penny, I think is just amazing on its own. Um, and then I found this for a penny as well. I don't need it, but you never know. Like you, you just, you never know. Um, package is a little bit beat up. However, it's, I mean, it's a flapper tank ball. I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, um, like I said, I got this from the second store as well as these. So these are the on the go lunch boxes. I'm going to be starting a new job, um, within the next month. So I wanted to make sure, um, I'm able to really pack my own lunch because it's really essential there. Um, I got this for couponing, so I paid $1.50. Um, I'm gonna put in some um, dividers. I'm gonna try to make some like homemade dividers and kind of sort my coupons a little bit easier versus the sandwich bag hack that I have. Um, if you guys want me to post a video on doing that, I do not mind at all. I just figured this was big enough. It wasn't too, too big, so it's not as bulky. It's gonna be able to fit in my purse just fine versus a binder um so like i said i got kind of like a his and hers so i paid three dollars for both of those and a dollar fifty so that was 450 um i found these two wiggle bites i love twizzlers i don't care what kind um the twizzlers actually ran up for 67 cents which is not correct because it would be 75 cents for 150 so they rang up a little bit cheaper than i expected so i went ahead and snatched a bag um as well as they had this now it was a dollar 65 yep a dollar 65 i had the 150 off coupon took it off made 15 or paid 15 cents um so this was a really unique find i found this and i scanned it because i don't know why i scanned it honestly um, but it rang up for 90 cents and then I had the dollar off printable coupon which came right off for it because it's originally um, Well, actually it says regular price 180, but it still took it off So yay go me. I made 10 cents just off this alone, which is amazing. So you guys This is it all in its glory. Oh, I did also get this crest But when I scanned it in store, it rang up for 65 cents um, but then it rang up for 112, so I will be taking this back as well. Um, maybe, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have enough toothpaste, but anyway, so like I said, guys, this is my complete haul. I have had a long morning. It's been well, though. Dollar General was really kind to me, and I appreciate them so much. Um, definitely, you guys should check out their nail polishes. I know people complain that they're usually dried out. But it looks like these are the really nice gel ones, and I definitely had to pick up that in a clear coat so I can do my toes.